speak, when I want to turn back to my conversation with Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy. I'm sorry to, to cut you off there, but uh, we wanted to hear what that yes. official said. And of course, the condition of these hostages, uh, these children who were released by Hamas in this first round. Um, what is your reaction to all of this? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful. I'm grateful that they are uh, among this first group of hostages. Um, I'm concerned about their well-being. Um, as you said, they're emotionally scarred uh, from the initial attack on October 7th and everything that's happened ever since. And I'm sure that the authorities there are going to do everything they can to kind of take care of their physical and their mental uh, state right now. And, and I'm hopeful that more can be released ASAP. As far as the 10 Americans, we were talking about that before we dipped out, uh, the 10 Americans still being held by Hamas. Have you seen evidence that all 10 Americans are still alive? No. And I think that's one of the, the big question marks and concerns, which is, you know, we want to have proof of life uh, with regard to the condition of the hostages. We need to know about how they're doing. And I, I've only read the published reports about uh, members of the you know, International Red Cross who are supposed to visit with the hostages and provide them with medicine and other care that they need. But we don't know their condition right now. Yeah, and that's, that is key. This hostage release comes amid this four-day pause in fighting between Israel and Hamas. Where do you see this war going after the prisoners have been released and the four days are up? Well, look, Pamela, this is a hopeful moment in a very, very, very dark period where there's been a halt in fighting. And based on published reports, uh, it appears that uh, this halt in fighting could be extended with the release of more hostages. So that's, I think, where a lot of people are looking for um, additional guidance. Like Hamas needs to release all of these hostages ASAP, like now. And so if they do what is the humane and civil, civil thing to do, which is to release these hostages, we could see this uh, cease, temporary ceasefire extend. And I think that's what a lot of people are hoping for right now. But do you see that as just wishful thinking that they would just release all the hostages, given the fact that it's their biggest bargaining chip, especially, you know, when you think about the, the men, the women of fighting age who could be part of IDF, th those that are still within captivity held by Hamas. Like, do you actually see Hamas releasing them? I don't know exactly what is the mental state of Hamas and its leadership, but I think that there are others who are also uh, working with them, whether it's the Qataris or others, who um, are going to put pressure on them to release these hostages because, um, you know, that's the only way that this, this temporary halt to fighting can extend. It's clear that the fighting is having a negative impact on Hamas. The bigger problem is, of course, it's having a much bigger also impact on civilians. And so uh, Hamas needs to decide, you know, how much pain are they going to endure, uh, you know, and, and how quickly can they uh, release these hostages so that the truce or this halt in fighting can extend beyond just these four days? You just heard uh, my colleague Alex's report that U.S. forces have been attacked at least 73 times since October 17th. U.S. forces were attacked just four times yesterday in Iraq and Syria. How concerned are you about the threat to U.S. forces abroad? I am I'm very concerned, and this is something that, unfortunately, Iranian-backed back proxies um, are kind of, uh, they, they have our forces in their crosshairs uh, throughout the region. And so they should know that uh, the, the administration, along with Congress, is going to uh, back any response necessary to protect our troops. Um, and at the same time, we don't want to widen the war. Um, and so it's kind of a, a balancing act. But so far, I think that the Biden administration's responses have been very proportional and appropriate. All right, Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy, thank you. And this truce agreement.